guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. We're exactly where we left off last episode. So what do we need to do at the moment? Well, we've just got our uh, Hall of Heroes, where we can send our companions to rest, which is ideal. For the murder... We need to inspect the body. Okay. And we've got these other quests as well, which we'll do as we go along. Right, well, first of all, let's head back to Cyseal. Cecile, Cyseal, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. I think this episode will be definitely picking up the next two characters. So I take it we'll actually manage to get a battle going. Oh, somebody wants to talk to me. <laughs> the enigmas are you? Ha! <laughs> Leave it to him to try and fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. I'll tell you who you are, Source Hunters, members of the most esteemed order in Rivalon. Here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There, the enigma sold. What's our response? If what Zigzag says is true and we really are affecting the tapestry of time, I certainly want to know more. And Jules says there, there, Medora, just because you aren't an enigma doesn't make you any less special tools. <laughs> and poofed. What are you? Th you think I'm. <laughs> no, no, comrade, you can keep your honour of being the object of space in special interest. All to yourself. I just hope this fancy of yours doesn't interfere with your real job, or have you forgotten a little detail already? You're a source hunter first, last and always, comrade. Right, so we need to... Now where is my pepper? Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, there. Well, we definitely need to pick up our next companion, so let's go and do that straight away, shall we? Since we're not going to be fighting, let's do that now. Send her off. There we go. I want you to choose to speak to the cat. Greetings. And this is Maxine the cat. Unsinkable Sam's love interest. Uh, she seems to like him, but he doesn't have any money to his name. He's not rich, so she's not interested. Wow. Uh, just try and get some information Bye. about the rest. There we go. I updated that. Kitty love. We we'll learn from Maxine that she doesn't want to spend time spend her lives with a cat who may not be able to provide for her kittens. Oh bless. Alright, so let's speak to uh Right, let's get over here. Greetings. Speak to Cecil, and while we're doing that Guess what we're going to do? <laughs> Let us get some stuff to sell. Gold cup. Light gold cup. Got to keep an eye on that woman coming downstairs. Gold, gold. We really don't need the history of Cyseal. Um, 
let's get the key to his living quarters. Whoa. He's going to see us if we get that, I think. Let's see him and find out. No, we got it. Oh, we got a key there. Adventurous field guide. We don't need all this. We'll take the light gold cup. The gold kitchen knife. Yes, well, that. Check out this chest. Oh, there we go. And that just reminded me what we need to do. We need to get the other teleporter pyramid. Painted by man. Painted by woman. Oh, 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 oh. Move back, move back. What's she doing over there? the conversation. Is it Cecil the Mayor? He's a bit deaf. <laughs> my, elf, my elf, what elf, there we go. About the issues in Seal. Jake's murder. Overrun by all dead. What a private matter that he's got here, where he, he sent for a relic. The staff of Pergamon. And this staff, we just got an update for that. We were expecting a shipment, but it's not arrived, so we need to uh, find out about that. And he'll take us to show us the library. Bye. He's talking about Victoria, which is his adopted daughter. And there she is. She's an orc. Lesser key of Charlie, the word. What nonsense. Bye. And she wants us to look for her brother, Tom, the wannabe adventurer. Talk to your hand. Once again, another character, a bit like Medora. He's not a full shilling, as we say. Demon Hunter. A 
Uh, he's offering us his help. Provided we never make a deal with a demon. And there we have Jahan. Whose skills are... Erythurge and Hydrophysist. <laughs> Hydrophysist. There we go. I got it out eventually. What's he got points in? No power. Two and two. Oh, he's got blacksmithing and crafting. Now. Right, so in that case, we can leave. Jules to do lore master, lore master to identify all the stuff, which reminds me. Centre Jules, Centre Jules. Read, another recipe unlocked. Send to Aubrey. Identifying glass, Centre Jules. Centre Jules. Why haven't I identified any of this? Centre Jules. <laughs> oh dear. Send to Old Grey for selling. Send to Old Grey. Send to Old Grey. Send to Old Grey. There's an awful lot of inventory management in this uh, in this game. I apologise for that, but it has to be done. Send that to Jahan if he's going to be doing crafting. I am bar. Likewise. Oh, she can keep that. Type. Oh, she's never going to use that, so that can come out of the way. That. That. Ricochet. And the stands that can go at the back. We'll stick that there. Poison arrow. Stunning arrow. Oh, you do it. Stunning arrow. Fire arrow. Scroll unlocking. That can go over there. Oh, nearly forgot our potions. And resurrect scroll. There we go. And your hand. Potion. Resurrect scroll. Alright, Jim, we'll have a look at these. Lore Master 2. Lore Master 2. for the new character we're going to get, I think. Identify that. Strength, that'll go what to Aubrey. Oh, Ooh, yes, much better. I'm a specialist as well. We'll have that. Equip that. All right, let's have a quick word with uh, our friend here. Right, let's get her attention here. Let's Greetings. find this way. There we go. Because you know what I'm going to do. What have we got here? Potion flask. It's definitely worth it to steal when you get a chance. As long as you're not stealing too much. That's what we've got. History of Sicily, we don't need that. 
Uh, fun with fluids, we need that. And again, we've got to keep the eye out for the, uh, the lady coming up the stairs here because we will lose stealth as soon as she comes up and sees us. You smelt it, don't smelt it, dealt it. Get that. Pirate's life. No, 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 don't go for that. Fun with fluids. Nothing else always can steal for the time being in there. Join up. <laughs> Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. He found her in a wicker basket. Now he took pity on the exiled infant and re raised her. Rather a large. Uh... Bye! Booby she's got there. <laughs> right. More recipes. Wow, we're doing well here with these. Alright, that can go to Jahan. That can go to Jahan. Whoops. And we can sell these once we've read them. Don't need to keep them. Jules. Pirate's Life. Read. I don't think there's any reason for it to keep that. in order. Ooh, yes. Right, while we're here, let's go and do this. The teleporter pyramid. Uh, we need to click this. Greetings. Oops. <laughs> oh, poor lady in the bath. And there's our, there's our response. Ah, this is a curious mix-up. No, be quite the story to tell tomorrow. Uh, let's try and do this. Should mean paper next. Yes. Rock. Damn it. Oh, we succeeded. Drag this into the adventure. Away with you. Yes, we're going. The deal will smell this lady from a field away. What are you still doing here? I'll save a leg of something good for when the... Shut the door. And we have a conversation. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have level ups as well. Uh, talk to Jules. Uh, this because we've uh, leveled up. 
Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. I suppose your example has inspired me to reach heights I've never exposed before envisioned. Talk to Jahan. He seems to think that power is the ultimate thing. Uh, not sure how we should reply here. Uh, a fine counsel. Power, after all, is very engine of success. Or should we go with you would have me pursue powers only for power's sake? No, I want my powers to serve the greater good. We'll have to go with that, I think. And again, he's a strange man. He doesn't agree. The things were weak-minded. Have to try and change his mind along the journey, I suppose. Right, so now we should have the, uh, the two teleporter things. Let's just make sure we have. Yes, he's got them there. And Jules will have the other one, obviously. Yes. Alright, let's do a level up. We have talent. Mm. All skilled up. We'll have to be for the starter one, which gives us an extra two ability points. Skills. We'll take that up by one. Damn it. Should on witchcraft. Never mind. I forgot. And craftsmanship. Can't do that. Don't need any of those. We'll put one in bodybuilding. Effect saving throws against not down, burning, bleeding, crippled, blinded, weak, diseased, infected, and drunk. So that'll come in handy. Right, all grey. Can't put his one handed up. We can't do shield specialist. We can do bodybuilding though. We'll do that. And we do the all skilled up as on that one as well. Take his man of arm skill up. Put him one in there. I want to look at charm as well. There we go. And they didn't level. Right, okay. And once again, it's took me longer to do that than I thought it would do. So we'll move them over to where the... Uh, into the graveyard, I think. Because we need to inspect the body, don't we? Might as well get something done by with that you. dog is awfully agitated. Perhaps he wants to tell us something. Right, Jules, going up wood with the dog. Hey, well, I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot smell was coming from. <laughs> and here you are. Wow, this is great. 
I'm Murphy Jake's dog. Wow, well, you smell great. Have you been rolling around on dead things all day? That's my favourite hobby too. Tell me yourself, boy. And Jake was his best friend. Oh. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. Whatever buried here doesn't smell like Jake at all. No, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll bark so much. Seriously, so much. You have no idea. Right, so I think that's Jake's grave there, is it? Here lies Jake. Have I got a shovel? Ooh, right, okay. Jahan likes the dog. Well, I actually like something then. I've got to disagree, I think. I don't know though. We are we are vile creatures, aren't we really? Right, talk to Jules. So let's see what's in this. What trickery is this? That's not Jake. It's a rotting sheep's corpse. Great. It seems someone snatched Jake's body. Right. We dug up Jake's coffin and found that a sheep rather than Jake's body was buried inside. Alright, so we need to find out about that, don't we? And that will have to be for next time, I'm afraid, folks. We appear to have run out of time for this episode. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to uh, leave me a like and subscribe. And we'll be back with Divinity Original Sin very soon. This is all Grace signing off.